Listen and hear my voice. Pay attention and hear what I say. When a farmer plows for planting, does he plow continually? Does he keep on breaking up and working the soil? When he has leveled the surface, does he not sow caraway and scatter cumin? Does he not plant wheat in its place, barley in its plot, and spelt in its field? His God instructs him and teaches him the right way. All this also comes from the Lord Almighty, whose plan is wonderful, whose wisdom is magnificent. It all started with a father looking out for the health and welfare of his family. Coupled with a seed of passion for farming planted in him ever since he was a young boy. Today, 14 years after venturing in rice farming, Pastor Jerry Junson lives in a quaint, peaceful, and self-sustaining farm in Bagu City. The reason behind this is my passion. When I read Isaiah 28, verse 23 to 29, based on that biblical passage, I embodied with passion. First, as a steward of God's creation. Secondly, my family. We want to, my family, have a clean and safe food. The Christ farm uh, began because of uh, I believe that we are saved by grace. Uh, one of my partners, are, uh, his wife is Grace. Uh, my eldest daughter is Grace. That's why it's called Grace Farm. Located in Tabunan, Bagu City in Negros Occidental, Grace Farm is an integrated and diversified farm in which Pastor Jerry has invested sweat and blood for over a decade for it to be certified by the Negros Island Organic Certification Services, or NICERT. It is a family endeavor, spearheaded by Pastor Jerry himself, and with his whole family supporting in the way they each can. Integrated Diversified Organic Farming System, we try to concept that this area we allocated uh, Prayer and chicken with banana patch. We put up uh, aquaculture, uh, uh, tilapia pan. Our main crop is rice. And also we try to allocate the seeds production for the organic farmers. Grace Farm's main asset is their organic rice, which they offer in varieties of black, red and white. To de-stress himself, Pastor Jerry's favorite chore is feeding the fishes in their fish pond, which houses tilapia fishes. The pond also has Kong Kong leaves in which Pastor Jerry uses as a gauge for water security. If the Kong Kong leaves easily wither, then it means that the water streaming into the pond is poisoned. However, the sun hasn't always been shining down on Pastor Jerry and Gray's organic farm. Pastor Jerry's drastic shift to an organic farming system had an equally drastic effect on the farm's production as well. Organic farming system is a lot of trials, a uh, lot of challenges you faced. Uh, I begin my harvest, 57 cabals per hectare. And all people in the committee are ridiculed on me. After that, I continue to pursue what my passion is. We continue to put 
some soil amendments on the soil. We integrate uh, farm waste on my land preparation. We put up microbial inoculant that homemade and some other concoctions I made. Although ngati sa amon pag uh, practice ni uh, though three years kung ginagay nagwanta nga nagnubo ako ng yield uh, hindi ko masalangan pag kumbat ang infestation ang pag-atake sa mga uh, punggos However, all of those challenges did not hinder Pastor Jerry from striving towards what he had in mind. Instead, he persevered. He saw that the health of the soil was not good because of years of poison from fertilizers. So he worked harder and harder to rehabilitate the soil. But nagpursugi ko, kagitin ko ang pamaagi, pagi sa bulig sa ibang mga utod, uh, abyan. Agod nga mapadayon ang akong notuyo nga mabuligan ang ibang nga farmers. Kagdiyan mo na continue sa pagproduce ng amonya mismo uh, food consumption sa family. Fast forward to 14 years later. It is reaping time for Pastor Jerry and the Grace Organic Farm. They are now gladly harvesting the results from years of sweat under the sun with patience, dedication, and perseverance. Today, Grace Farm is a self-sustaining organic business that provides not only healthy and safe food for its market, but also a source of income for the community of farmers in Tabunan, Bagu City. And this supports the saying that the farming industry is the backbone of our country's economy. Then, every crops we escalate our production until we reach the harvest of 139 cabans per hectare in 2010. Until now, we enjoy the harvest with the small uh, inputs and production expenses. And I decided to continue not turning back because of a stewardship, issue of stewardship, not for the ownership that we try to pass on the next generations. The farmers, uh, iban sa ila, hindi maka pa-eskula sa kabataan sa kolehiyo, and their farms are naprinda sa iban nga mga tao, kag sila nangin laborer na lang instead of producers. Namo na mga rason nga nagkurso ko sa organic farming system. Okay, for me, organic farming system is the only way to sust uh, sustainable farming. Uh, using lang kasang uh, imo farm waste, kag, uh, locally produced material available sa imo farm, may process mo lang ibalik. Uh, hindi sa tama ka expensive, kag ti mas maayo kumpara mo sa, sa conventional farming. Grace Farm is a gift that keeps on giving. It does not only help Pastor Jerry and his family, but also improves farm productivity and provides a source of livelihood to a community of farmers whom Pastor Jerry generously shares his knowledge and wisdom with. For me, organic farming system is the best farming system. You do not use uh, synthetic fertilizers but also use what the farm has produced. Organic farming system is not only for social, but it is also it is a holistic uh, responsibility. Uh, first in the human's health, the health condition of the soil, the environment, and you try, uh, we are trying to mitigate the climate change. As a testament to his hard work, dedication, and passion, Pastor Jerry has been recognized for his efforts on Grace Farm over the years. He has been given the 2016 National Organic Agriculture Achievers Award, NOAAA, 
as outstanding smallholder organic farmer. And Gawad Saka 2016 Regional and National Award as outstanding organic farmer. In 2017, he was also the regional awardee as outstanding local farmer technician and the national finalist in the NOAAA for smallholder farmer category. And I'm trying to do train leaders to follow my steps. One of that is my second daughter, which is also the agriculturist. Kung baga katas ng pan yung korso niya. My eldest is also helping the record keeping. is also a teacher. And my third daughter is taking uh, mechanical engineering in helping me to set up a new or modified my dilapidated uh, treasures or tillers in the farm. True to his word, Pastor Jerry is now dedicating his time to pass on his skills, knowledge and wisdom to the next generation who will be the next in line in this endeavor. For me, at the end of my day, I am face to face with my Creator because I done what He has done and what He put the purpose in me. That is my passion. <music>